Hey y'all, welcome back to Hopped Up Beer Review. Today we are drinking Bivouac Black IPA from Hunt and Smith Brewing Company out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Thanks for joining us. Hey everybody, welcome to Hopped Up Beer Review, the show where we give you our unprofessional and somewhat biased opinion about the beer we are drinking and reviewing and we are back to do that once again be sure to like subscribe and cheers to that notification bell as well as check us out on the social media links are below in the description and come say hey on discord we would love to have you there uh, and chat us up uh i've got andy in the attic i've got jay i have been what are we going to be drinking and reviewing today Bivouac Black IPA, or BIPA, for some people who want to call that. It is out of Hutton & Smith Brewing Company, Chattanooga, Tennessee. I'll tell you, based on the can, <laughs> I'm intrigued. <laughs> really? Why? Uh, well, out of all the things that uh, it mentions, <clears throat> resin, pine, orange, and grapefruit hop character with coffee and roasted nuts. I mean, that's... <laughs> They're Oops. talking about a lot of stuff there. It's like, hey, what are we going to make for dinner? What do we have in the pantry? Uh, yeah, okay. exactly. All right, let's throw it That's in what there. I'm saying. <laughs> what can we throw in there, right? Mm. Black well, idea. I just want to say I had this when I was just doing a day and a half vacationing in Chattanooga on our way to a lake in central Tennessee. Yep. And this restaurant we went to, and this was on draft. And I was like, well, this is great. And so mm -hmm. we were on our way back. I was like, I got to stop and find it. And so I did. And hmm. I think you've had it, Jay, right? I believe I have. Yeah. It's one I remembered from them, but I haven't seen it in some time. It smells great. I love a good black IPA. Cheers, mates. Cheers, Cheers mates. mates. Oh, Ben. About me. <laughs> you need a spoon to get through that. So this is 8.9%, 100 IBUs. Kind of confusing, isn't it? Because you get that that coffee. Yeah. You, you get the bitter of the grapefruit peel kind of citrus and the resin and the pine. It's like confusing. I mean, it's a lot of stuff for sure. It's Bitter is there, but it's not overwhelming at all. I mean, hundred IBU. I can you know, I can detect yeah. that hundred. It's um, so it's a black IPA. Another term or um, descriptor for this type of beer has been Cascadian dark ale. So it's uh, Cascadian dark ale was. It was kind of uh, coined by some brewers in um, Oregon and Washington to allude to a mythical Republic of Cascadia, you know, that type of area that runs from Southern Oregon, Northern California, all the way up through maybe lower through Vancouver or British Columbia and up to, into um, Alaska. But it's references a top fermenting um beer using what, roasted malts for color, but also, um, you know, featuring a strong hot bitterness and infuses hot flavor and aroma. But most widely, it's known as black IPA. We've had one more black IPA on this. Mm -hmm. And I can't think of what, what was that? Yikes. Was it a straight to ale one? Did, did they have a black IPA with them? I don't think so. The, the evil. Uh, what's the Let there? me think. Not, evil? not velvet evil. That's no. Uh, that's that's strong, an old style yeah. ale. Old style old ale. Yeah. Let me think about it. And I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll let you know because I'll think so, of it in a second. Bivouac references a temporary camp without tents or cover that's used especially by soldiers or mountaineers. It's derived from uh, like the Ger Swiss German. I guess bivouacked 
and which means the addition additional guard at night, which may be why they gave that term to a black IPA. So Hutton and Smith is a microbrewery out of Chattanooga. And it is named for James Hutton and William Smith, who are considered the fathers of modern geology. So you see the little mining tools at the top. Um, so Hutton uh, was a Scotsman, and he illustrated the concept of deep time um, over which geological changes occur. And then Smith was an Englishman, and he produced the first geological map of Earth. Wow. So, some cool history. Yeah, they really got to like their geology to name the whole brewery <laughs> after that. <laughs> well, it's, it's interesting because we've had, you know, obviously this one, and then you know we were at uh, what was that Birmingham district where it was all about mining, and they have kind of a similar uh, hammers in their in their logo as well. Yeah, so. they're very also, uh, they're close and, uh, resemblance. Yeah. yeah, and they're not that far away from each other, I guess, was no. kind of more or less my point. I think <laughs> there was a uh, shovel in Birmingham District. It was like a pickaxe and a shovel, I think. Mm -hmm. But Birmingham. for those who don't know, Chattanooga is in a mountainous area. It is well known for Ruby Falls, Lookout Mountain, big outdoor area, great river. So Yeah, they have a great riverfront area. Yeah, river wall. It, it's, it's a fun, uh, you know, if you have a couple of days, you like to do outdoor stuff. That, that's a big, cool place to, to go. They got a few breweries down there, too. Big aquarium for the kids. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so I was about to say, if you have kids, they have a great aquarium. Yeah. Uh, visited, it, visited it last year. So used to, when we were growing up, we would go up and we'd stay on what the, they called the Chattanooga Choo Choo. They actually had rail cars that acted as uh, hotel rooms you could rent hmm. and stay in those. Wow. What's well, back in like the 20s and 30s? Is that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Thing is, you're two months older than me. <laughs> so, yeah. I got more gray than your brown yeah. there. Yeah. I think the other uh, black IPA we did was from Jailbreak, uh, that dark and righteous. Yes. Yes. Out of Maryland. Man, you smarty. Yeah. That was a way to remember that with the pig on it. Yep. That was a good one, too. It was. Well, Ben, since you're the. I, you're assuming I haven't had this. You didn't ask. <laughs> okay, so I'll go first because I, I haven't had this. <laughs> yeah, I, I that. <laughs> so I I think um, man, for all the stuff they throw in this thing, it's smooth. Um, it has a really great flavor, and I I think the the challenge if 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 there is one is to really try to pick those flavors out based on what they have listed on the can, but man, they blend it all together really well. I, I don't, I have a little bit of bitter, but it's not overly bitter. Uh, I, I would, you know, if you had maybe had to have to guess what the IBU is hundred is nowhere near what I would have come, come up with. I mean, it's there, but it's not, it's not bad. Uh, it's not overly bitter. So it is, I think really, really good. Um, and uh, I'm going to give it an eight. All right. I'll go ahead. Um, if you were to give me this beer and I didn't see it, I didn't look at it and I closed my eyes, like, what do you think this is? I'd be like a coffee IPA because that's what it kind of reminds me of. And, you know, it says, yeah, coffee and roasted notes. And I think that Roasted coffee feel really brings down the hot bitterness, um, you know, that you see in an IPA. And um, looking at the can, I'm like, oh, so they actually kind of reference what a bivouac is. You know, look at that guy on the bike and he's making a, a temporary shelter. Um, same thing. So I just kind of stumble on that. They don't show that on the front of it. You know, you don't get that. You have to kind of turn it around. But or not really good it was good it was great on uh draft i think uh appreciated the draft a little more than in the can and uh i, I can't even think what i gave it on draft but i too will give this an 8.0 i uh 
my favorite. <clears throat> yeah, so I I had forgotten about it. Um, I knew it was one that I really liked. Um, the last time I'd had it, um, and we haven't had it. It hasn't been distributed. There's all sorts of other Hutton Smith um, <clears throat> beers that have been distributed down here. But I haven't been seeing this one in quite some time, although I keep my eyes open for it all the time. Um, I really enjoyed it the first time, and I had to think back to what I had rated it. Probably didn't rate it as high at the time, but going back and, and drinking it now, I like it. I mean, it's it's got a, a very complex arrangement in there. Um I'm not always a huge coffee fan, but to me, it doesn't doesn't seem to have an overpower from coffee. Um, all that said, I, I give it an eight as well. It's a solid, solid beer by Hutton and Smith. Yeah, I think maybe with with all the things that it has in it, it kind of allows you to pull what you want out of it, maybe to some degree. Because I say that in that Jay, you don't pull a huge amount of coffee out of it. Andy, you mentioned coffee. I mean, I get a little bit of coffee, but it's not overpowering for me as a coffee beer. So is it a Rorschach beer? (laughs) I I don't know. You're going to have to probably define that term for me. A psychologist. A Rorschach. A Rorschach test. You know, the the ink blot and you look at it. Uh, You you see what you want to see. see. Yeah. And then uh, a therapist you know, digs into your skull and uh, tells you what's wrong with you. Yeah. I, I haven't been to those people. Uh, that, that's a good one, Andy. Recently. I like that. Yeah. It's, it's a, a Rorschach, Rorschach beer. beer. <laughs> you heard it here. Maybe. <laughs> There's our thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, Ben, I don't get, uh, you know, the, the orange or maybe a touch of the grapefruit. I get the pine, the resin, the coffee, uh, maybe some of that roasted malt notes in there, but some of the things just, they get overpowered when you put pine and resin in things, they're going to overpower. Or when you get those hoppy flavors, they're overpowering the orange, the grapefruit to me. Yeah. Yeah. I think that it's all balanced or neutralized, you know, and yeah, that, and that... that keeps the bitter down. I mean, it, it says it's a hundred IBUs, but I can't, can't figure this to be a hundred IBUs. Yeah. And I think that was more my point that, you know, you, you can kind of pull out almost what you want to out of it from what they, mm-hmm. what they list here. Uh, because I don't get a lot of coffee out of it. Probably the roasted malt and the little bit of bitter is probably more what I pull out of it than anything else that's listed here. Um, so th- it just makes it definitely that much more interesting to me uh, that we can all kind of pull the different pieces out individually that is going to give us an eight for the bibblewhack black ipa from hutton and smith and we noticed a little something interesting on the top of the can here andy uh why don't you enlighten us sir well speaking of enlighten i need light to read it it is so faint it says nice beer by people who give a schist. So the nice is G N E I S S. Schist is S C I S C H I S T. Nice is a actually a term. It's uh, referencing a metamorphic rock. So is schist. Schist is a type of metamorphic rock that's uh, showing pronounced schistosity, and schistosity mm-hmm. is. Composed of mineral grains easily seen with low power hand lens, such in a way that rock is easily split into thin flakes or plates. So, it so plays another right their logo, yeah. geological references for Hutton and Smith. Look at nice. those crafty guys. I think I've learned more about rocks on this one episode than I probably <laughs> knew combined. Uh, so that's. <laughs> That's why we do it though, right? Yeah, we packed Uh, a lot of schist into this one. (laughs) (laughs) Indeed we did. (laughs) That was nice. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Uh, All right. Uh, Let's end this. Yeah, just end it. Uh, (laughs) 
appreciate you guys checking out this nice video uh you can tell that we give a shift and uh yeah hey for andy in the attic and jay i'm ben cheers, cheers mates, mates. cheers mates <laughs>